Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. So for today, we have another thrift flip video and I'm going to make this cowl silk neck top. <laughs> so if hindi ka pa nakakapag-subscribe sa channel ko, please click the subscribe button and the notification bell para ma-notify kayo sa mga next videos ko. Hit like then if you like this video and you can comment down below if you have any suggestions na pwede kong itry. <laughs> try lang. <laughs> so I made this silk cowl neck top from Thrifted Silk Polo Slips. So yes, um, this is from my Ukay Ukay shop. So wala masyala nagmamay ng mga polo slips na silky. Sinasabi nila pang bahay lang daw nila yung mga pa-silky. O diba sa shawl? <laughs> So actually, this top is for draft lang sana. Kaso lang, it turns out good naman. So sabi ko, why not i-tutorial natin? Dapat yung gagamitin ko for this tutorial is Drifted Silk Polo Slips. Kaso lang, size um, small to medium ata siya. Make sure na one size larger sa inyo yung gagamit niyong polo slips. Kasi meron tayong um, i-close na part dito. So mas liliit yung ginamit nating polo slips. So, I just used ko ano yung nakita kong pwedeng um, gamitin. So, this is from um, Polo Slip. So, what I like about this top, um, it looks so elegant. It looks so pretty. And, ayan. So, pwede mo siyang pang, -pang alis lang, pang party, pang bahay. Charot. <laughs> Aura muna natin sa bahay. So, if wala kayong sewing machine, then okay lang. Pwede namang kamayin lang din. I use sewing machine para mas madali kong maipakita sa inyo. So, without further ado, let's get started! Thrifted or any used polo slips, scissors, tape measure or ruler, thread and needle, pencil or any marker, stick or safety pin, and sewing machine is optional. I used cotton fabric for the polo. So first, let's cut the sleeves of the polo. We will use the sleeves for the strap of the cowl neck top. I measure 1.5 inches. I just make it 1.5 inches so I have a seam allowance. and then cut it. Do also the same process on the other sleeve. Flip the inner part outside. And let the sewing begin! I measure 0.5 inches for the strap. Because we don't have pink thread, so I'll just use white thread instead. Make sure not to lock the last part. Do the same on the other strap. Cut the excess fabric. We will flip the strap inside out so you can use stick or safety pin. And do the same process on the other strap. So now let's proceed to the body part. 
First, draw a straight line from the left to the right corner. And we will cut this part later. Since may hati naig na sa likod, we will just use it as an outline. It is 4 inches from the top part. So now, let's cut the front and back part. So we will just remove the front and the collar part. So we will just reserve this for later. We will cut the part na my button and buttonhole. So let's close this part. So flip the fabric inside. And we will sew it. So now our top is closed. Kaya make sure you'll use a polo no one size larger sa inyo. So next, you rin reserve natin kanina, we will use it for the top part. We will fold and sew first the lower part. I don't have pins, so fina fold ko lang siya once for the hem. So we will just attach these two together to look like this. Supposedly, dapat yung inner fabric is pumantay sa line for better results. But because ito yung available na tela, I'll just use this one. You can try to use the remaining fabric on the sleeves instead. So ipapasok lang natin yung strap sa loob, sa medyo baba ng upper left or right corner. And dahil na cut ang video, dahil puno na ang memory ng phone ko, I'll just show you the result. So, tinahi ko yung nasa taas and sa sides. And kasama na dyan yung strap na nasa loob. So, now let's flip it outside. So we will now hem the back and the side part.
So we are almost done. So you can actually make it na pa cross back or straight lang. So I measure 13 inches long for the strap. And 3.5 inches from the middle. So tada! This is the result for our cowl neck top. Lastly, we will iron the top from the top to bottom and the strap. 